What's going on you guys, man? Welcome back to another video. Today we have a black, all black BMW M440i and we finna get into this video and tell you a little bit about it. Let's get it. They're 19 inch all gloss finish with the blue brake caliber M series. You have the M series steering wheel and this also has eight speed manual transmission with the M series differential in the back. For all my BMW owners, this has the BMW laser iconic adaptive LED lights in the front too. It's crazy. This car also features the black badge setup all around the rim, and you also have one here in the front. Going further into the cars, there is a leather interior all the way around from the front to back with the blue stitching everywhere around this car. This car is lovely. This car also features a Sensor Tech dashboard. There's a little, there, there that pops up a little your speed to tell you rough road, anything right there. This car is something that you could, this is like a summer car, you guys. My take on it, I'm really not a BMW driver. Some of you guys know that I'm really more of a Mopar guy. Driving these BMWs, it wouldn't be hard to daily one of these. You have your Apple CarPlay system here. You have your AC, your cool for your passenger and your driver. You got Sport Comfort Eco. You got the auto parking here. And then you have this nice parking engage with a lock button right Right here you got your trunk button over here so you go ahead and press it with this car it's not really too much space right here you could probably sit about one or two suitcases in here probably a body if you wanted to nah i'm just playing and as you guys know you get this massive massive new grill that bmw has put on their new bmws you have a camera right here a sensor there sensor there see this car is one of a dream and we could put the top up it comes out goes in comes all the way over. Now, I've never been in a convertible. Like I said, you guys, convertibles aren't really my thing, but this car literally has its nicks and it has its snacks. Inside, you get your Harmony surround sound around feature and on the passenger side and in the back. At the top, you have your SOS. You have your driver light, interior lighting, and your passenger lighting in case you want to read a book or in case you dropped your keys somewhere and you can't get them. You have your lights up here to help you find them. You have a phone charge right here. You have a USB charge port right here. In the middle, you have another USB-C port right there if you have the new fancy iPhone. Moving on to the engine, you guys, you get a three liter BMW M twin turbo inline six cylinder that pumps out about 382 horsepower. This thing is faster than my car. I don't even lie to you. Those are some of the specs about this beautiful car. But some things I don't like about the car, you guys, is the fact that it sits low. You have to really be careful about the bumps and stuff that you take or what you're doing with the car. Because if you go over a hump a little bit too fast, you will skirt going up into driveways. You have to go in a certain way. Another thing about this car that I really don't like, the way the backfire sound on this car is really not that loud. The turbos, you can for sure hear the turbos. The turbos kick in and it will send you back. The G-Force just puts you back in the seat. Another thing about this car that wasn't too fun of was these seat things right here. These things get in the way. They come out and they come in. Sometimes they hit you on the shoulder. Sometimes they won't just depend on how you're sitting in the car that I really wish wasn't here. If they leave it like this, it'd be okay. You feel me? You don't have to worry about it hitting you. And like I said, you guys, I'm not really a big of a coupe guy. Also, it's a two door. It would be nice if this thing was four door. I don't really like having to push this and having my friends get in the back. I really don't like that right there. We had fun in it yesterday. We went to the beach. Everybody was cool. Having the top drop gives it more a little bit of room. It just feels kind of cluttered when you were back here and it's just like, where are you going to go? So with all that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and start this bad boy up. Let's go ahead and show you guys some pulls. I'm gonna let you guys listen to the exhaust. We are gonna drop this top so you guys can go ahead and fully hear it. But as you guys see, as I was talking about, this thing comes out and then when you open it, it closes like. All right, you guys, we got the car started up now. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in M Sport mode, which is that's individual. We'll go ahead and put it in Sport. And then, as you can see right now, it says Sport Plus. We're gonna go ahead and give it some revs. Yeah, that thing will sound way better if there was an exhaust on there. Maybe some down pipes. Oh my God. But let's go ahead and get some pulls and I'm gonna show you guys the force that it has and everything else, man. All right, let's go ahead and give it our first pull. car is crazy y'all the pulls on this turbos man i don't know man i think i may go twin turbo on them up do you feel me but here we coming through the streets are you here let's go 
I'm about to whip this. I'm about to... Yeah. I don't know if you guys can hear this turbo, but yo. 